Hey guys, and welcome back to Rams Games for more of the Rim Worlds. I forget what we're doing. Even though I recorded, I don't know, eight hours ago? 3.31 in the morning. I should be asleep because of work, but I'm not. So, there you go. Man, that wind is... It's pretty loud. Uh, okay. The reason I wanted a tube television... ...was... ...because we can set up, like, an area for the hospital beds. That way people can get some kind of joy... ...for later. Check our home zones real quick. That's probably fine. Although, considering it's a uh, dry thunderstorm, I should actually just expand the home zone and have them deal with this fire before it becomes something like completely massive. I had a situation on one of my other saves that I actually had to save scum. Oh my god, that is loud. Game, come on. The bill for fine meals are complete. We have 12. Out of what? Okay. I was really just trying to get rid of some of this meat, but... Do not make jade walls, please. Thanks. I think what I'm gonna do is... Kind of expand this out to the... The entrance over here. We'll make this like a hallway. We'll leave that outside. It doesn't need to be inside as far as I know, so... Doesn't mean I'm right. Let's mine that away and then we'll make... Wooden walls up here. It'd be a lot easier if I just plant this out a little bit. I'm gonna rip down these walls right here and kinda change this up a little bit. Make a uh, I don't know. We'll cancel everything. We'll we'll figure it out in a minute. <laughs> I could deal with it. Just make it cut, but it's too early in the morning for that. We have one colonist idol, which is the Cameron. We need to find out what we can change about that. You can't grow mine or plant cut. You can't clean or halt. What is wrong with you? It's because his old gun shot. Probably something he started with. Cooking doesn't need done. We don't have research. Let's do that. It'll be strictly on research. It sucks that he can't do like art or anything. I hear fire foam is pretty good. I don't know the radius in which it works. I've never built it. And I know that we need a different research bench for that, but I'm not too worried about it. I'll never get brewing. Like, ever. The researches in this game really just aren't that interesting. Good electric smelting. Started. Cameron can focus on just doing that. 
I can only deconstruct that. I can't reinstall it. It was a bit of a bummer. That might be at the limit. Of like the stuff. There's a limit of like the room size they can cave in. I don't know if it's 7x7 seven seven or 9x9. Nine nine. I don't really want to take that chance. But I just plan to put some rooms in here. I don't plan to build everything inside these caves. Like I said, I don't know what happens with the whole cave thing. I know that there's pre-built buildings which contain like ancient horrors, more or less. Are they still just like hang through? Yes. I was looking at the configs so I could potentially uh edit them. I'd like to remove malaria and plague because if your entire colony gets hit with that at once, which they can, like literally everyone in your colony can get malaria and the plague at the same time basically. Um, It's really difficult to deal with and everyone is basically dead. They need to harvest All of these. And all of those. I want the cottons. Did I ever build that bench? Yes. We need to make cowboy hats. Right now, I just want them to use cloth. We'll have enough of it. Cowboy hats. T-shirt and some pants. That should be good. Somebody will get to work on that. That way they don't have like tattered clothes or anything. We'll need to start smelting so we can get rid of the, the limestone and everything else which is why I have him working on electric smelting. We could do it now, but pretty sure. Hmm. Still stone cutting table. Like a wood stone cutting table. Could have someone doing that. Doesn't take power or anything. It'd be really cramped if I put this in here. But I don't want him working outside in like the rain or anything. We're gonna be using lots of wood, so get used to it. Make stone blocks. This will just get rid of some stuff. We can also sell the stone blocks, which are nice. You always make blocks out of literally anything. Although, one thing I will change is the radius in which we do things. Make blocks only from this radius. That way it clears up stuff around our base. I like to have stockpiles inside the mountains too. Then do forever. You can see they're starting to get all the cowboy hats on. In fact, they all have them. That's nice. Go ahead and get these wooden walls there before I forget. Let's 
just to give them nicer bedrooms. I'll put floors in here to make them go faster. Lights, all that fun stuff. It's actually really hard for me to see, so it's probably dark on YouTube. <laughs> Sorry. That's the thing I hate about cloth, is it gets bad in the sun. I mean, it's organic fibers that's basically, like, just degrading out there. These clothes are going to slowly go bad outside too, which is fine. They're crap, which is why no one's wearing them. Does Augustus have a sleeping spot? No, he doesn't. Oh well. Animal sleeping spots galore. Can't set owners for those. T-shirts are done now. So everybody should be fairly happy with their clothes. Of course, Cameron Swing is always going to be in a little bit of pain. Due to the circumstances. Need a little bit more wood if we get a chance to get it. Once he's done with all these, then Satan will move on to other things. It'd be really nice if we get the medicine inside. We have so much food. We need a trader, we need a comms thing, we need freaking everything. Don't even have room for comms unless I put it like right here. Which I don't have the metal for. Not that we can't mine it, I just want to get this done. Why not center these now? Is anyone else a miner? Anybody? No. New lovers. Cameron Sweeney and Window Water have become together and are now lovers. Oh. Congrats, man. As long as you're nice to everyone. We will get you a nice double bed. Make sure y'alls can sleep together. Sorry, Yeti, I'm going to designate this for uh, Cameron Sweeney and then Yeti. Don't be stupid, Yeti. Cheers. What are you doing? I could. Like, get rid of this power conduit just running through our base. Need to make sure I don't choose the wrong thing here. I don't think it's serving any purpose. It's not. Other than to be there. They really need to finish this mining, man. The sooner they get it done, the sooner they, they get different bedrooms. And I think I'm going to extend the stockpile too. The dumping stockpile. I'm extending it so I don't have to set new settings. I don't think I can split it and it would create two different stockpiles. I think it just cuts off one side or the other. At least that's how it used to work. Which, as you can imagine, is not the most optimal thing in the world. So I could remove these growing stockpiles. I'm going to let them rebuild them. 
and then I can queue them up for not being sewed. Although, no, I'll just delete the growing zone. What that'll do is I just have to manually harvest it. Except that's what happened here. I don't know. There's so much we need to do. Maybe we could cover this entire area right here with our base. Still probably wouldn't be enough. Who's the one doing the mining and why is it not, not done? I wasn't queued up. Crazy. And we got plenty of food. We got so much freaking food. Too much food. But I wish the stacks were larger. I wish you could like check base stats on things that you were making. Maybe you can. Yeah, you can. Still, it's really difficult to get there. Wish you could just like right click on that context menu. They should be able to do that just fine without being too stupid. That those to be hauled. Research is coming along just fine. What I normally do is I take these wooden beds and I build a bunch of them as long as I have enough wood to do it. And that way I have like all superior furniture, superior chairs, superior tables, all that fun stuff. Our power is fine considering what it is. Our fuel generator is going to continue to work too during the eclipse. Thank you. We have plenty of wood. If it gets too big, I'll just do this. But right now it's fine. I like being able to sort through all the meats and stuff real quick. 579 wood. So I'm going to chill out on the queuing. I lied. I'm going to make... Once we start getting rid of some of these things, I have a trade beacon, man. Freaking, what am I doing? That's why. Okay. 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 <laughs> I'll do it. I was hoping we'd hit some compacted metal, but eel, we didn't. I don't know if a higher level mining skill gives you more stuff for some reason. Like more efficiency at mining instead of just like breaking up the steel. Makes sense. Where's geothermal power on this thing? Yeah, high tech research bench. I thought so. Once I get this moved inside, then I can start like this can be strictly battery storage. It's also going to be fun trying to deal with the temperatures in this place. By that I mean not really. That's the worst part about doing things in here in a mountain is figuring out temperatures. You either get really hot or really cold. Not fun. What I normally do is I would build all these back to back in one long hallway and then build a temperature 
like shoot where all the heat from the air conditioners can pour out. Because I mean this tile right here gets really hot. Can't see that because it's outside. Although right here, this room, without this vent, would actually be uh, you can see it's 90 degrees in here. And it's 60 in this room. And it's because there's two... Now I'm fixing that. I am... Still fixing that. It'd be stupid to do this because then the air conditioner in this room, this room would just get really stupid hot and that's where they're sleeping right now and then because it's equalizing that it would just go right back outside. Another vent might do. Now that we're getting some metals. A decent amount too. We might be able to build a comm station now. Delaneous. Uh, we have a decent amount of components, which is amazing. Just in case they need a chair there. I probably don't need this wall here, but I still don't want to risk it caving in at all. Yeah, I do. You're fine. You're it's fine. It'll be fine. He tells himself before the roof caves in. Put this wooden wall here so we can deconstruct this one. And fix that floor. And that floor. That's done. Um, it's not, that's not okay. All our food is starting, trying to spoil because the air conditioners are, the door's open. Not cool. Let's get this sorted real quick and I'll end the episode in a minute. Once they all wake up, they should just fall has begun. You just blast through this. I'm gonna keep the meals and some medicines in this. Might as well extend this out too. I think that's deconstruct. I don't know, I have a bottle of water in the way. I could move these. I mean, I wish you could. I'm just saying, like, I should move those. Or, more specifically. Hands for the power up through here. Then I can. I can get rid of this. Make sure that's all good. Okay. Wooden wall here. And then deconstruct that. Stockpile zone. And you know what? It would be intelligent. Oh, it wouldn't really matter, to be honest. I was gonna say what we could do is kinda remove some of the stockpile here so nothing got in front of the door. They're visiting, they're tribes people, they don't matter. At all.
Cameron is on the whole making thing. How much does it take to make, what is that, sandstone? Limestone. Yeah, how much does it take to make a limestone for it? Four. I'm thinking of just making all of this limestone or something. Really? Their Vex is a pretty neat faction name though. Everyone's hostile towards us, which is amazing. You only get like 14-ish with a decent social. But yeah, I mean, they're just a tribe. We're not going to have anything decent to trade. Maybe we can give them clothes. We have some crappy clothes to sell. We have a bunch of stuff to sell, to be honest. It is still... Target temperature. It's hitting the target temperature. I'm gonna lower it by two more. Make it 14 degrees. Alright, who's our most social? And then I really need to end the episode. It's almost 30 minutes. Character. You have a 12 social. Cameron. You're like a really good person even though you can't manipulate things. So, I mean, we could sell the herbal medicine. We'll get three bucks for it. That gives us 230. I don't want to sell our wood because it's almost, it's fall right now. I have a little bit of time to gather more, but. Ugh, man. They have a decent trading capacity, to be honest. For a tribe, anyways. going to give you a little bit because I assume that we can gather up some more. Give them all of our skins. Heck, we could even give them cloth. Yeah, we're not going to be using those skins at all. They have five components. Go ahead and buy those. Trading could be fun sometimes. No, we're not trading our animals, although... That muffalo. Hmm. 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 We'll keep 590. All 140 of those. I don't know. We just... a lot of things, man. And because I didn't build a trade beacon. All of our silver is right here. <laughs> Bye. Uh, how abundant are the squirrels? They're not... There's four of them. I can't wait to play with the config. Can't wait. I'm gonna queue all this up to be done. Uh, limestone takes a while to build. But it's pretty to look at. And we need to start worrying about pretty, so... As long as we keep getting these limestone blocks, which are... These, yeah, quite a bit. Anyways, thank you guys for watching. Remember to stay positive. Have yourselves a great day, and I'll see you guys in the next episode of Room World, which I'm trying not to neglect again. Bye bye.